And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some Fallout 4 and we're going to be doing the Institute quest line now. Make sure it's the like button, make sure it's the subscribe button, let's get into it. Imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy, and our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean. I've been looking for you for so long. Who are you? Sean. Where is everyone? Father, what's going on? What's happening? Those bastards. They... They killed your father. What's going on? Father? Father! I'll kill them for this. All of them. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Who is Father? Where is he? Father? Father, help me! She's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean, S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start a new beginning. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Father. <laughs> That's your name? Your title? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute. Just as... As you are apparent to your son, to Sean. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here, in the Institute. 
closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am your son. How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am, raised by the Institute, and now its leader. But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Human-like synths. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, Members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me. After discovering records from Vault 111. An infant. Frozen in time. Protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. And you've... you've been down here the whole time? I have, yes. I know you must have questions. Please, anything I can do to help you understand. Kellogg, he worked for you? Kellogg, he was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath? But you used him anyway? Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute. But his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you... us... to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say 
to ease your mind. So, you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. They're scared of you, Sean. Scared of the Institute. People are always frightened by what they don't understand. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. What else can I say to ease your mind? I think I've heard enough for now. Very well. The Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Yes, that's what I want. I know. I know you've been through so much. I'm pleased to see it has not impaired your judgment. Forgive me. I'd assume that after everything I'm sure you've seen above ground, you would be more than a bit biased against us. There is much to be done. You'll need time to acclimate yourself, a chance to become acquainted with our procedures. Is all that really necessary? What's there to learn? For now, it is enough that you understand that the Institute really is devoted to the betterment of humanity. The Institute is now your home, as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the Division Head, Dr. Fillmore in Facilities, Dr. Ao in SRB, Dr. Holdren in Bioscience, and finally Dr. Lee in Advanced Systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. If you don't mind my asking, they were built pretty what well. was it that kept you going all that time? Sure. I just wanted to find my son. Keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Absolutely. Oh, good to hear. It'll be a load off Sean's mind. Take your time. Get yourself acquainted. If there's anything else you'd like to... Right. I'm good for now. Thanks. Goodbye, then. Oh, I can't argue with that. Even so, I'm ready to see what you're trying to do. You know the protocol, sir. Authorized personnel only. Scanning. Seriously, we could be heading over to robotics to knock some heads together. We're all looking forward to working with you. Your targeting package is great, I asked for. Maybe I should take some courses with me. Send a message. Please don't.
Excuse There's enough me, friction doctor. as it is between Sir. us and pretty much all Here the other departments. Just the name. I'll be up front with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite... I'm sure you understand. There won't be any... issues, will there? Why? Don't you trust me? I'll be honest. You're an outsider. The first outsider to be allowed access to the Institute in quite a long time, in fact. There's little precedent for this situation, so... It's only natural to take extra precaution, hmm? It's nothing personal, I assure you. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the synth retention unit. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. So, basically, you're the secret police. Secret police? If that's a pre-war reference, then I'm afraid it's lost on me. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third-generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our Coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a Courser should be more than a match for any single combat. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if you don't have enough of those. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. I'm good for now. Thanks. Very well. Reporting status. All functions normal. Huh? I'm huh? trying to learn chess. When are you going to tell me about this mysterious face? She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. Excuse me, point, doctor. Ah, it. it's you. You're here then. Yes, yes, I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. What is it you're working on? Advanced systems, special projects. You've seen the boy, a, a synth, already. We've been hard at work on him for quite a while now. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a Courser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Thank you. I'm sure that will come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. I'm good for now. All right. Oh, for goodness sake, I can't find my notes anywhere. Is it true boots up to a 77? Operating at full capacity. Not yet. Hey, I Doc. wonder how the Warwick Welcome. family is doing. So good to have you here. Wally Dr. Clayton Holder, head of the bioscience it's market. I can't wait for, right. for so long up there, don't you think? Like what? I was just about to explain that. As the name implies, the bioscience division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. The gorillas are synths too? They are indeed. Judging by your reaction, we've done a good job making them seem lifelike. The initiative is still in its early stages. 
but the prospects are very exciting. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm not sure how well I'll fit in, but I'd like to give it a try. Great. I was hoping you'd say that. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Is there anything I can do to help out? I think Dr. Carlin was looking for help with one of his experiments. You should talk to him. What would you need that for? I'm sorry, but I'm too preoccupied with chit-chat. Dr. Holdren's synth gorilla project is showing promising results. Now that you've had a chance to see the Institute firsthand, what do you think? You've got technology here that I never dreamed possible. It's amazing. I'm glad you can appreciate what we've accomplished. None of it has been easy. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our motto. Mankind. Redefined. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional setbacks. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be dangerous without proper supervision. The superior synth mind and body attempting to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe for chaos. What do you mean by proper supervision? I mean that while they are here in the Institute, fulfilling the purpose for which they were designed, our synths perform admirably. As you're about to see, however, they can become unpredictable when set loose. A rogue synth has taken over the Raider Gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the Raiders have taken many innocent lives. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. I'd like you to join him and reclaim that sin. We'll bring that synth home. That would be best for everyone. Now you should get moving. Many people are in danger, and a delay could cost lives. <laughs> Ready to move in, ma'am. You must be the courser I'm supposed to meet. Yes, ma'am. Designation X6. I've already neutralized the. Let's just get this over with. Right behind you, ma'am.
hoping for a challenge. I guess I'll keep hoping. Hold up a moment, ma'am. There's something important. I'm listening. I'm going to give you B-592's reset code. If he hears the code phrase, it'll reset his cognitive processes and make him docile. You'll need to say, B-592, initialize factory reset. Followed by, once he's shut down, I can transport him safely. Uh -huh. What do you mean by reset? Put more simple. Uh -huh. That's all, ma'am. Factory reset. Authorization Gamma 71 Epsilon. What? You okay? Gabriel, can you hear me? Is this what you did? First mistake? Nice work, man. I'll take this in the back. This is X688. Ready to remake with the claim sim D5. It's an honor to have you here. I'm glad to see you return safely. I know the task was difficult, but I needed you to see firsthand how dangerous a rogue synth can be. Gabriel and his gang were sick bastards hanging their victims up like trophies just glad it's over while we can do nothing for gabriel's victims we can at least take comfort in the knowledge that the threat has been removed but enough about that the task is done you've returned our synth safely to us i couldn't have hoped for a better outcome uh, well done while you were away i had quarters prepared for you You'll find all the basic necessities, as well as a generous stock of arms and equipment. Go and have a look. I think you'll be quite pleased. Mankind redefined. Perhaps that's a good decision. Your new quarters are here, ma'am. Something that's actually useful. When you're finished here, ma'am, father wants to see you. Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.